Gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica, where in the last episode, not only did we make the stasis rifle, we made this, the modification station, which I have been very much looking forward to. Where on earth is my salt? There we go, there, there we go, that is, that is, there we go. Right, so, today I want to make a ton of upgrades, because with this thing, we will now be able to make, like, we can easily make the Seamoth Depth Module Mark III. Try and say that three times fast. Uh, <laughs> and I'm excited to see how far down the Seamoth can actually go. And with torpedoes now, we can actually probably take it to some um, da da the danger more dangerous places, I should say. So, I think that's what the focus of this should be. But first, I am thinking about unpinning you real quick, because we made you. This room was epic last time however i don't know why the menu for things has reduced it's not like there weren't any more things to look for like in terms of um scannable things so that's a bit weird i do want to try and make another scan room upgrade which is copper ore and magnetite i don't know if the range will increase by having another one or if it's just the way it is it probably is the way it is but also, yeah, I'm also out of cover. You know what? That's fine. Let's take a look at this. So, lightweight high capacity tank. I don't really care for the enhancement durability. I do care for the enhancement durability. I can't, I kind of want both. <laughs> what do I have right now? I think I have the, yeah, high capacity O2 tank. Can I make both? Is the question. High capacity O2 tank. That is three titanium, some glass, titanium, and silver. I can easily make that. So a bunch of silver, a bunch of uh, quartz, two quartz, three, four, a bunch of titanium, and some silver, which is probably here. Yep, something like that. I should be able. I should be able to make the first one. And then need to go ahead and make two glass. See, I, I actually remember correctly. And then I can basically make one of each for two specific situations. So one, if I need to go really deep, I can go ahead and use the deep one. If I don't need to go very deep, I can use the high efficiency one, which is probably the one that I'll use most often. So if we go in here, and I don't want to equip you because I'll probably need you. Plasteel ingot, right, plasteel ingot. A lot is needing plasteel ingot. I don't remember what it is. Two lithium and one titanium. Lithium, 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 silver, lithium. Ooh. Oh dear. That is not looking good. <laughs> we don't have much lithium. Uh, I also kind of want to, if possible, make the Neptune boosters, which is another plasteel. But that's nickel. That's nickel. Hmm. Not ideal, but I think we'll we'll make another we'll make another mission maybe later for making that. So if we go in here, do I not have enough? Uh, did I not get titanium? Did I, did I not grab titanium? I didn't grab titanium. Not enough anyway. So just grab all of this, fill the inventory out basically, dump the last remaining silver. Yeah, there's gonna be some crafting in this. I hope it's fine. Uh, titanium ingot. Here we go. Okay, so not everything. But a lot of things actually require um, plasteel ingots. So I'm going to make... Uh, right, right. I need to be smart about this. I need to be smart about this. And that is something that I need to be smarter at being smart about. Let's see. Access upgrades. I need the Seamoth Depth Module Mark III. Rush depth is now 200 meters. A yikes. Let's go in here. So with this, we can now make the Mark II as long as I get some enameled glass, which I can easily make if I have uh, uh -huh, this and some glass things like this. And all I need now is some magnetite, which I'm also running low on. Yeah, we are definitely going to be making a mission here. There we go. Okay, Seamoth Depth Module Mark II. We have been waiting so long for this. I don't know how, like, how much this is gonna, like, increase the depth uh, crush level at, but we're gonna see. Previously, it was 300. It is now going to be 500. Okay, but we can we can do better. We can do better than that. But, uh, yeah, we, we can do better than that, but we're not gonna do better than that right now because that's gonna require the last remaining plastic ingot that I have. 
which is no good because I want to make... Uh, do I want to make the lightweight? I can only make the lightweight because that requires four lithium. <laughs> um, right, maybe I want to make the ultra glide fins as well, potentially. Uh, fins, silicone rubber, titanium, and lithium. Streamlined construction enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins. We don't need this. We can't make this because uh, we need polyaniline. So I think it's just these. So fins, silicone rubber, two, and one of each. Pretty sure I should have... I know I have some... I have two silicone rubber right there. I've been holding on to those for a while now. <laughs> and so one titanium and one lithium, I believe. Which is the last remaining lithium that we have, and hopefully we're gonna get some from this mission. And then take fins out. Go ahead and do that. Huge upgrade for us right here. Boom. So, now with these ultra light fins and me replacing empty. Right, there we go. <laughs> so this has 90 seconds of oxygen. 90 seconds of oxygen. So this... It's basically an upgrade because this is going to allow us to move faster, which is good. And we can use this later to actually make it into the, the even better version, the high capacity version. But we can't do that at the moment. Is he even it lying in, around in there? That's not, that's not okay. That needs to go there. Okay. Am I ready for a mission? Yes, I believe I am. Just need to top up on some food some water and we're gonna go down in that cave and we're gonna go to the left we've been exploring to the right we're gonna go to the left hopefully we're gonna get plenty of lithium uh and stuff like that do i need water on the way nah you know what we'll be fine also have my brand new knife this is gonna be cool all right we are suited and ready for this mission let's jump in thank you Let's go. Crush depth is now at 500 meters. So this means we can already now explore quite a bit further than we have had been able to before. Okie dokie then. We're going down. Going down. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken... Like I've been going to the right. I want to try and go left. And see what we find. And I want to look out for uh, magnetite, obviously. Ooh, lava stuff. But also nickel, I think it was, if possible. Want to make sure we don't miss stuff like on the cliffs and things like that. Want to make sure we are actually able to find everything that we can find down here. Like this. This is really important because that has <laughs> gold. Okay. That is not what I was referring to, but... Oh, there's actually a lot down here. Okay, I'm saying a lot. I've only found two so far. Diamond. Okay, that's not... I'm hoping one of these that I break will actually contain nickel. <laughs> Don't know if they will. Lithium? You know what? Then it's fine. If that is all they contain, I'm happy with it. I just really need to keep my eyes peeled because they are very much hidden. I mean, we can do more with more diamonds as well, so that's fine. Uh, I do want to check this out, though. Which is... Uh, that hurts. I feel like that would be something down there that I could use, but I don't know what it would be. I just feel like that there would be, without actually knowing. It's a feeling, basically. Okay, I found actually a couple of, of, of these now. I really don't care for the gold. And there's a huge lump of it right there. I'm just scanning to see what I can find. Ooh, hello. Magnetite, thank you. Diamonds. Hmm. How on earth do I get nickel then? I'm pretty sure that I have had nickel before. Oh, that's some volcanic activity back here. Pretty sure I've had nickel before, but I'm clearly not getting it from these rocks. Unless then that... It's because, like, it's, like, really rare. I don't know. With this giant vein of lithium. It's so easily accessible if the prawn suit would have the, um, the drill arm thingy, which it does not have, which is uh, making me very sad. Hopefully we can find it soon. 
but I just don't know why the scanner room is no longer able to search for scannable items because I definitely didn't find all of it. So that is a bit of a mystery to me. Those weird snake creature. Oh, another one right there. And this is definitely not giving me nickel. It's giving me lithium though, which is a resource that I need. So this is good. Good stuff indeed. Uh, yeah, once again, we have actually was, like been to the left, maybe? Oh, it goes even deeper. Hello. I must have been here. I'm just gonna go forward here and see what happens. We can always gather more resources. I just want to make sure that this is not the way to the Gapsy uh, habitat, because we have been there and I don't want to go there again. Uh, that's a weird chocolate thing. That's lovely. Yeah, definitely haven't been here before. I don't really think anyway. Oh, this is narrow. Okay, but I don't want to go up. I don't want to go up yet. I want to stay. Well, that just shows we just means we haven't been it actually been here. Hi, don't you dare hurt my thing. Oh, that is. I knew I saw something. Diamonds. I'm getting more diamonds than I'm getting lithium. Not cool. Huh. You can find lithium just laying around. That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually, and good to know. I don't know if that's the first one I found. It probably isn't, but... I need to keep my eyes out for that, then. May look up where to actually get nickel. Because I don't actually know. And that would be nice to know. I may have ventured a little bit too far from the sea moth. Please, last... There we go. No, don't open the inventory. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put the sea moth a little bit centered this time. Yeah. Uh, could you leave that alone, please? Actually, I do want to scan you. Please stand still. Stick stand, stand. Okay. Well, how are you holding up? Ooh, that's not looking good. Please, I've never been too loud. Yeah, 44%. Whoa. I don't know what would actually happen if it, like, gets to 0%. Don't know if I wanna know. Oh, Scary. What do we have here? Ooh. Access to lava. There's nothing here, though. Of significance. I can see anyway. Oh, huh, okay. Well, good to know we can easily access this down here. Ah, yeah, that to go away. Go away. Go. Beat it. Ouch. Okay, these things are not friendly. I'm loving this new knife though. Okay, you're fine. Okay, time to move location. Uh. Just really gonna make sure that there's nothing scannable over here, cause uh, I really don't think I've been to this before. Nope, nothing scannable. But I'm seeing other things. Hold on a minute. Hold on. This is something. Uh. Okay, I have been here before. Okay, noted. I just don't think I've actually stopped by looking for resources properly. All right, inventory is full. Time to get out of here. I'm pretty sure there was an exit over here, which I kind of want to use and see where we end up. Hopefully I don't damage the hole too much. Trying to do this maneuver. Uh, please don't. Hold on. This is difficult. Uh, there we go. Okay. Only 500 meters away. Not too bad at the beacon is over there. Please get up. Oof. Okay. Can I empty in the inventory and then see where we can actually get nickel? Uh, but I also want to make the high capacity tank. Just because I think it would be cool to see 
the difference and uh, good to have with us at all times. At least when exploring. All right, let's see here. Making the ultra high capacity tank, which should have more O2 in it than this. And we're gonna make the Seamoth depth module a Mark III. Plasteel ingot and three rubies. Only have one ruby left, but we should be able to get more fairly easily. So, this has a capacity of, let's see, already past 90. So that is almost double. 225 and this has 135 so that's almost double well it's 90 extra 90 seconds extra that is double what am i talking about this is double <laughs> uh okay that's really cool do i just run what is the difference like what is the actual swimming difference with this is it noticeable like, I'm swimming around, looking at things, there's a camera, da, da, da. okay, I switch it to the lightweight weight version. It's really not that noticeable. One, two, three, three seconds travel time-ish. One, two, three, I'm really not seeing a big difference, I think I'm just gonna keep that, honestly. Like, I, I would rather have... I'm not noticing a huge difference. So I'll just have the other one. You guys can let me know if there's, like, a really big difference. Then I'll... Obviously, then I'll switch it. Uh, but let's now see the depth module on Mark III. How well that's gonna do. Uh, okay, good. We have to hold reinforcement. 900 meters. Now we can really go on some expeditions. And speaking of which, time for me to do that research. Okay, well, that was fairly easy to research. Basically, without spoiling too much, and I didn't really get spoiled myself either. Basically, uh, it's not really within our reach. <laughs> That's basically how that is at the moment. So, we won't be able to make the uh, Neptune rocket boosters or whatever they were called at this point in time. Uh, but... In that case, because I haven't been given any more radio like signals or anything like that. I don't think there's anything else that I really want to make from the modification stable at this time. Uh polyanline. How do you make polyanline again? We have the recipe, I know that much. Uh polyanline, you need hydrochloric acid, which is located here. Deep shroom and salt. Wait, we can make that, because we do have deep shrooms. Ooh, we do do, I think, have these rooms? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that we're growing them right outside, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, deep room, okay. Well then, swim charger, I want those. I not only want them, I need them. <laughs> All right, I need a gold ingot, then I need to make some normal fins which is basically two silicone rubber, and to get silicone rubber, you need uh, two creep wine clusters, I think, maybe. Uh, oh, this is complicated stuff, I need gold. I'm thankful that we have this many resources, like just playing around, really cool stuff. Polyanoline. Okay, there we go. Got the silicone rubber just from one creep vine seed. Very, very cool. What did I just put away? There we go. Polyanoline. And now, we should be able to make the fins. And with the fins, we should be able to make swim charge fins. This is really cool. Because that's going to generate energy for us. I just want to see. Again, speed difference. Like, is it noticeable? This is my current swimming speed. Plus one, two, three, four, five-ish. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a significant speed decrease, but when I'm not in the Seamoth, I'm usually using this anyway. I don't know if it charges this battery. It's fine. I'm gonna try them out, and then I can always swap if I so desire. Uh, definitely don't need a flare. Why on earth would I have a flare on me? 
poops. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab some of these. That's our fruits, they're good. And then, I have a water on me. Yep, we're gonna take the sea moth. And we're gonna go somewhere. I'm not sure where, actually. Now that I think about it. But I wanna go... S I haven't really... Do we have a marker of something interesting? Other than... Life pod, proposed to gassy habitat, 500 meters... Life pod, bounty viewpoint, dry land, shallows, camera drone, camera drone. Nothing really. Nothing really. So I think we're just gonna go really quickly. Want to check the storage capacity? Ah, okay. Hold on. <laughs> I never emptied this apparently. Uh, do I? No. Everything is charged up. I don't need the extra batteries. Empty this, and we have some extra storage for. Resources that we find. I think I'm just gonna go towards this island over here that we actually kind of tried going to last time and then see what happens See what we find and now that we have torpedoes and we have the depth of 900 meters We can go out some of those places that it's where it's really deep and see if we can actually find something I'm gonna try and look for one of those areas. Hopefully there's one in this Direction I feel like there would be otherwise we'll find one for sure uh, yep, I've been here. Okay, so this big thing here, I don't think I've actually been to. At least not very, very well, because uh, there's a lot of water in here, which is good. Um, I could also mean there's other stuff around. Like an unopened door. Open, please. Ah, uh, huh. Yep, haven't been here. That doesn't look good. Unless it looks like a door that would be openable. Again, I'll take these. We are using titanium. And you are sealed. And at this point, I would have almost had to go back to the sea moth before continuing. But, because of the high-capacity O2 tank, we can now do a lot more stuff. Which is awesome. And this thing ran out of power because I didn't change the battery. Ugh. I don't have an extra power source with me, so... Habitat Builder. Remove battery. Don't need to build a habitat out here. <laughs> Laser cutter. Equip. Attach battery. There we go. And continue cutting. Nice. Hopefully, I really want the digging thing for the prawn suit. That would be kind of cool. It's got a fact. More disinfected water. I'll take the water, honestly. Uh, ugh, that's not safe. Yeah, me. This is huge. Very huge. Uh, don't get stuck. <clears throat> don't get stuck. Do not get stuck. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm definitely taking the water because, like, that's awesome. I can't scan that for some reason. Modification. Are you kidding me? Modification station fragment. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's more to explore. I'm gonna. Be right back after getting some extra air. And even more here. Oh, wait. I can't get out here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay. Okay, good. Okay, some sort of data pad here. Maybe use... Okay, something I've already gotten. Going down here. Uh... Something showed up over here that I could scan. That might be a bugged thing. Don't know. So many of these unopened. Battery charge fragment. I can't actually scan more of the laser cutter ones. That is interesting. Vulture cannon fragment. More titanium. Battery charger fragment. More titanium. This looks to be some sort of hanger. In a box. Titanium. 
<laughs> okay, and whatever that is, vehicle bay fragment. Mm hmm. Okay, moving on in here. Whatever here is. And propulsion cannon fragment. Right, and. Does it seem like there's a way of exiting? I get that. Yep, okay. I think that was it. Unless there's like more outside. Like, I need, obviously need to look around. Why so creepy right now? All of a sudden. Don't appreciate it. <laughs> uh. Alright, I was about to say, just need to see if there's anything scannable in the area. What's going on with the music? Uh. I guess it's because it's like a big, like, Oh, what could I scan? I could scan something. Something, it's... I think it showed up. Or maybe not. Okay. Alright, I think that is this wreck accounted for. What direction was I coming from? I think I was going that way, and then I was going this way-ish. Something like this. And I saw that, and I was like, have I been there? And no, I haven't. Okay. Good to know uh, that has been done. Just need to check if this thing is empty or not. I thought that creep wine was a creature for a moment. It looked like it. It's a kind of <laughs> Right, sea moth inventory thingy. You are gonna. Oh, that's a lot of titanium. I don't need this much titanium. I need to stop like taking so much titanium because I don't need it. <laughs> At this point in time, there's so much scrap I could be gathering if I wanted titanium. Right, that's it. No more titanium. Even though I've said that I'll grab it. Not happening. Not on this trip anyway. I don't think I have before, even though I've been able to. At like 300 meters. I really explored this area. Oh, hello. What's this? I haven't really been... Lying around, I was gonna say. This place swimming around, sailing around. What on earth is this cliff? Ooh, resources. What are you? I'm pretty sure I recognize it. Power trans. Nope, already have that. Already have power transmitter. That's a that's a lot of resources here. I feel. Silver. Never mind. You're an egg. That could be a resource as well if you want an omelet. But I'm good. <laughs> What are you? Moonpool fragment. Already have that as well. We have lithium out here? Seriously? What is this thing? Also, notice how um, this thing that I'm using now is basically charged. Like, it's got more power now than it did when we left. So the fins are really, actually working very well. Which is awesome. This scrap. Uh. Time capsule. What on earth? Two advanced wiring kits. Synthetic fibers. Wow. And enameled glass. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, basically out of inventory space. <laughs> and we're not done on this journey. Hello. Are you something? Cyclops Hall Fragment. Do I have that? I... Dang it. <laughs> I didn't think I had that. I got excited. Okay, well, there's a lot of resources here, which is good. Um, I'm gonna do something that's probably painful. I don't need that much titanium. I have like two, three lockers filled, basically filled with titanium back at home. I'm dropping all this. Because I don't need, I, 
I have so much titanium around me that I can like convert. Bit wasteful of like resources, but I'm sorry, but I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna not gonna keep it. Not gonna keep it. I need space for more important stuff. Look at this. There's so much here. Honestly, I don't Well, I do need the lithium actually, so not too bad. I will stop, I guess. I also would like some copper, but it doesn't look like that that actually spawns here. But we do have lithium just growing on the wall, apparently, which is... Look at this. There's so much. Wish I would get more than gold, though. <laughs> but I can't be picky. This is so cool. Didn't know this existed. I need to bring with me so many more beacons. Huh? I thought? Is that one I've been to before or not? That's weird. It's kind of deployed like mine. Ah, reaching the hole. And yes, I have been here. Okay, good. Oh! I was supposed to go to the island. Yet I'm here. Okay. That's where I'm at. Got it. <laughs> okay, well then, that's easy to find like this cliff face again with some of all of these like resources. Just go to the Aurora, find the cliff, and well... I probably haven't taken all of it. Take a look around, because you'll probably find resources. Okay, what else we'll get of what, what else we got around here? This is an expensive ruby. Okay, I took some damage there. That was completely unnecessary. Oopsie. My bad. Ooh, get back. I only have one of those. <laughs> only have one of those. Huh, okay. Interesting. How big is the fur? I don't. I don't have a battery. It's fine. I was thinking like, how big is the thermal generator? But we'll look at that probably later because I do want to make it high. I have. I have a torpedo. I don't know how to use the torpedo. Apparently, please go away. How do I use the torpedo? I'm sorry, but how do I use the uh, how use? Let me see. Did I use one? I don't think I did. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna try. Well, try just launching one. I was assuming it's left click. Nope. Nothing's happening on left click. Interesting. Right. So I can apparently select with number two, the torpedo slot, and only then is it going to fire. That's actually a nice feature. That's basically like having a safety thing. That's cool. Hi. I must have been here, right? Right. That looks open. I don't trust you. I don't trust that. Yeah. Go away. I have torpedoes. Uh. The hole is strong on this. It's really not. It's not. It's really not. <laughs> uh, if I just swim fast enough, it won't be an issue. Ooh, hello. Have I been here? I don't know. This place looks scary. I have not. Hello. I have not. Please stay away. Please. I have not been here. There's a data box. Hi. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, what have we got? Uh, stasis rifle. Already have that. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Get it, because it was aye, aye. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Stuff. House transmitter. Stasis rifle. House transmitter. 
Ow. What? I didn't touch nothing. Ow. I need to use some of this water. Okay, got that thing here. Stasis fragment. And open you. I want the prawn suit, power drill, arm. Oh. Hello, outside world. Goodbye, outside world. You're scary. <laughs> uh, okay. I wish the, the hot bar was a bit bigger. Just by like one or two, that would be nice. So I didn't have to switch so much. It's a small thing, but it would be cool. Uh, let's see what we got. Anything interesting? Maybe, potentially. Uh, <laughs> two modification station fragments around. Okay. You're empty. You're locked. Okay. I must be annoying annoying someone by not like taking all the stuff that will give titanium at home. Sorry. But I just don't need it. <laughs> I just don't need it at this point. In time. Okay, they're not aggressive as such, which is nice to know. Actually. Very good to know. Uh, okay, okay, you guys doing a number on my hull. I don't even know where to go. I'm pretty sure that's where I... Uh. Well, I want to go away from my base, as stupid uh, as that sounds. So, I'm going to go the opposite direction of stuff. But I also want to go deep, because I have this upgrade, and I want to utilize it. To its full potential. Like, see, before, we wouldn't be able to explore this part. But now we can. The deeper we go, probably... What am I doing? Probably the more interesting things are going to become. And more dangerous, mind you. Copper. Good. Need that. Can't believe I had to get all the way out here to find some copper. <laughs> but, like, the more interesting and the more dangerous things are gonna become oh, so slowly. Need to keep my eye out for scannable stuff. There are things we haven't already got. And resources. Any resource actually. This is so oh, scary. <laughs> Uh, like it's so dark, you can't see a thing, and it goes down so deep. I still don't see the bottom. Still don't see the bottom. Two thirds of the way down. Well, according to the sea moth, like depth. No resources on the walls here. Crush depth will be reached soon. And that's far Warning. enough. Entering ecological death zone. Adding report to data bank. Huh? The illogical scans of this area shows a deep decline in all directions. This data is current. What are you? Get away from me okay I didn't that did that torpedo did not oh that is that did not hit okay uh didn't get to finish reading that whatever that was wasn't nice yes torpedo that was cool. <laughs> okay, follow the wall. Follow the wall. I want to finish reading that, but I kind of need to deal with this weird threat I'm having at the moment. Okay. <sighs> Two torpedoes used. Right. Okay. Can I finish reading? 
This data is consistent with the theory that the Aurora crashed on the edge of a 2km by 2km volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since an eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. The ecologic... Would you guys leave me alone? The ecology of the train surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. Right. So what it's telling me is basically that this is probably the edge of the map. <laughs> In uh, non-roleplay uh, terms. I think anyway. That was... Was that a leviathan then? I guess it must have been. There's resources here, and this thing will require reparation. Honestly, it did well, all things considered, in that, like, situation. So, uh, we are to... Yeah, that is, um, like, the edge of the map then, because that is... We are now two kilometers away... This is here. We are two kilometers away in the northeast direction. Cool. And I want to keep going. <laughs> what is that? That's something that I already have. Nuclear reactor fragment. Don't I already have you? Nuclear reactor fragment. I feel like that's something I have. Uh... Somewhere. Oh, no. Actually, I don't have that until now. That. There we go. Nuclear reactor fragment uses nuclear rods to generate energy. Advanced wiring kit, a three lead, and plastic link kit. I don't think I have nuclear rods unlocked. <laughs> oh, I do. Uranite crystal, lead titanium glass. Hmm. We'll see. Sorry, what's that? Interesting. Music's also like exciting. <laughs> okay. Uh, where was I going? Right. Uh, that leads down. Probably oh, the bad thing. Uh, yeah, I want to see if I can make that. I'm wondering how. Like, how long one nuclear rod is actually going to last. I believe I have some uranite. Uranite. Uri... Uri... That thing. Okay. You fellas are spawning here. A lot of you. Why? Does this cave have something to hide, I wonder? Whoa. What? Would you... Not do that, please? Teleports me outside of my thing. Huh. Not cool. I stopped. Because I saw Uranite. Uria Urianite. Or whatever. That's actually a lot of it. And Ruby. Definitely want all of these. Inventory full. Not on my watch. Drop some of the unnecessary stuff. Consume some water, because uh, too many of too much of it anyway. Uh, use this thing. Well, let's create a light source, but we'll do. This cave must have something, since they're outside of it. They're not inside it, but they're outside of the cave. What are you? You are a tiny little creature. Okay. Get in. We're going in. I want to see what they're hiding in here. I also want to make sure that I grab a bunch of this stuff. Wow, this place is interesting. Red Ruby. It's very full. Go away. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I'm actually getting hungry now, and that's an issue. Uh, grabbing the final one. Then we need to remember northeast. Northeast. I'm saying it now. Northeast of our part, there's more uraninite. Uraninite. That's weird to say. Uraninite and a very, very interesting cave system. I go right. This looks like though it just leads outside. Yeah. What about the other ones? Maybe that is just a normal cave entrance. What is that? Uraninite thing is very good. Then it would probably be guarded by stuff. Just seeing weird things, plants and whatnot. Uh, I'm expecting some alien stuff around here. Probably expecting wrong though. Spotted duck leaf. Hmm. Interesting. Is this where I was before? It's not. This is just cheap. Ah. Just, quote unquote, a chamber. I am ugh, potentially getting lost. Uh, nope. Okay, northeast of the cave of our home is a very. Ooh, hello. It's a very very interesting cave. Hello, all of this stuff. Prawn suit grappling arm fragment. Do I have that? I don't think I have that. I don't think I have that. Nope. 50% complete. Cyclops engine fragment. Ooh. Okay, Cyclops engine fragment part three. <gasps> New blueprint acquired. Ladies and gentlemen, we just unlocked the Cyclops. Uh, it said so, right? <laughs> why, is it not, why, why, why is it not in here? Uh, you know, it should be, should be in the mobile vehicle bay. I don't know, right, maybe. Uh, nope, here it is. Oh, vast industrial use submarine. So I guess we have to make the Cyclops. Yeah. Oh. Don't scare me like that. Uh. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna read my information. Inside. But yeah, I'm assuming we have to make the Cyclops and then, like, probably plant. Maybe. Plants for building a Cyclops. I, I don't know. I don't know. But we can make that. I think we have the resources to actually make that. Which is probably what we're gonna do in the next episode. Why am I... Torpedo. Okay, I... It's dumb. This is... <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. This will just be... Yep, Cyclops saying. This is so dumb, this is so dumb, this is dumb, this is dumb, this is so close, that was dangerous, make sure we just got that, that. Mm. Mm. just wanna, just wanna, I don't care for water, I have plenty of water, I have an infinite amount. Is 
is dumb. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is dumb. That was dumb. Where's the entrance to this place? Okay. Hopefully it's safe in here. There's so much water in here. I don't need that much water. I actually want food. <laughs> uh, anything in here worth grabbing? Water. No food, huh? Okay. What door to cut through? Okay, this is my last spot to like go through because then I do need to go back home and uh, get food because it's at 15%. But that is huge progress. Even though we've just been swimming around, finding stuff and getting resources. Uh, we've been getting resources. We got the nuclear reactor. And we got the prawn suit itself. And we got torpedo and fragments, which means we are going to get it now. Yep. Turn block. Actually huge. Yep. Stabilizing. Yeah. This is good. This is this is good. Even though I am no longer in immediate danger, I will head back home because we have a lot of stuff now. I am near a dangerous area. I don't wanna risk it. And I'm happy with what we have so far. <laughs> that was a Leviathan, I think. Yeah. But I'm curious now. I want to see other places. Are we two kilometers away? Basically, yeah. So this is another edge of the map, basically. Or slightly, anyway. Cave? Cave? Why, why am I so curious? Okay, it's just an opening, just an opening. Northeast is where I basically have to go if I... Smoke? Or volcanic thingy. I think just volcanic thingy. Yeah, northeast of the of the base is where I need to... Hello. It's where I need to go for the nuclear reactor stuff thingy, my dingy. Nah, 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 you're coming my way, you're coming my way, you're coming my way. Arming torpedoes. You really like this place, huh? Oh, you guys are fighting. Okay, why am I... Why am I so close to you? Why am I so close? That's stupid. That's so dumb. <laughs> Go away. Uh. Did I just see another? That's another one. That's the second one. That's a third? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what? I don't even think the torpedoes can actually do something. Is that another wreck? Uh, I don't think I've been to this wreck. I can't actually explore it, because... Build inventory. Yeah, I'm being followed. <laughs> okay. Remember, everyone. Northeast of the base. Opposite of southwest. We gotta go. Very dangerous area, mind you. But interesting wreck. And cool cave. Why is there another one? Like, I'm not... I'm not that far away from home. Should they even be this close? Looks like I took a bit of damage back there somewhere. Maybe it was... Maybe it was by the... Maybe I was at the Aurora area. And I was in the radiation field. No? Or Aurora is over there. Wait, is that the island? Oh, I was near the island. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. We can see the Neptune, like, platform from here. Right, I was near the island then. So I wasn't, like, at the edge, edge of the, of the world. Because the island was there to the, I guess it was there to the left if I kept going. Okay. We're learning stuff, ladies and gentlemen. 
home sweet home. That was a very productive journey, one that we couldn't have properly taken had it not been for this progress, and it resulted in even Welcome more progress. The Cyclops itself. That is huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually huge. Like, that is awesome. I am so pumped. And we can make Prawn Suit Grappling Arm, Fire Suit Grappling Hook for Enhanced Environmental Traversal. Want to make that, obviously. Set a payload delivery system adapted to fire torpedoes. Kind of want to make that, too. For the Prawn Suit, uh, I don't have Crystalline Sulfur, unfortunately. Don't have Nickel. Uh, why have I not made that yet? Do I have that? No. Huh. Well, that's a to-do list for next episode. <laughs> uh, can I have my thing back now? So if I go ahead and take this, I just want to see how much it costs to make this. Easy. Easy, actually. And give me this one. Okay. Uh, let me just empty everything real quick. Oh, I have a lot of these crystals in here. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, oh, and I have the synthetic fibers as well. Right. I don't even know what you use those for. <laughs> I think there's a lot of this game that we haven't. I don't want to go swimming right now. I don't think we have unlocked, like... There's a lot in this game we haven't done. <laughs> There's a lot. And that's awesome. I love that. I love that about this. Okay, obviously we're not going to make any of the, like, the Cyclops thing today. Uh, however, I do want to try and make a reactor rod. Even though I don't have the nuclear reactor just yet. Because I haven't actually... Made that. Is something here? Is something here? Not in the base, but around the base. I think we're good. <laughs> Just weird sounds. I mean, you never know with this game, like if it's gonna throw something at you. Okay. What I wanted to try and see was if I go ahead and undo you, and then take you, this, right, so it has to be on one of these big slots. Having it here is not that cool, having it here is, I guess, fine, <laughs> honestly. I don't know if it, like, is gonna decrease the structural thing or not. Uh, can I pin it somewhere? Yes. A steel, advanced wiring kit. That's easy. Actually, I have all that. This to lead, which is here. Boom, boom. Three lead, sorry. Right. And then plastic steel, so that is titanium. One, two, three, four. I assume that once we've made the Cyclops, the game is somehow going to advance. I'm hoping anyway. I don't know, but I'm hoping. Okay, I'm gonna save. Because this is radioactive. <laughs> I don't know how well this is gonna go. Exercise caution when handling radioactive materials. Mm -hmm. Exposure risks corrupting your PDA's recording of the circumstances of your death. Got it. So our power, like, possibility is now 3,375. Okay. Use a nuclear reactor. Charge 0 out of 2,500. Processes nuclear reactor rods. Doing it? I mean, I've just given it one. And it's still active. Oh. I 
guess we're gonna have to see. I think it works, because I don't have to worry about coolant or anything like that, I don't think. I think it works. We'll see how that progresses throughout the uh, this journey. But ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this episode. Again, we made huge progress. Next episode, we're gonna work on making the Cyclops. We should have everything that we need for it. Don't know where we're gonna need it. Don't know where we're gonna actually park it. Don't know where we're gonna charge it. Probably gonna need another moon pool fragment. Not fragment, but like thing. So we need to like continue with like the base and stuff like that. Huge progress awaiting. So ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.